Okay, it's down about it's down about uh, probably eight years or ten years since I did this. Where I'm gonna attempt to bend a an H. You really don't do that all that often. No, because it uses more metal. So the piece the bend goes like that. And it looks a lot nicer. It just looks like this when you're done. I don't know if you can see that, probably. But the bends are like that, and it comes back over. There's a certain order you need to do these in, too. And these are the dimensions I like to use. You could change them. I like to go 7 8 here. That's just one here. And then I'll go 2 and 7 8 That's the exposed one. And then I'm coming back an inch to get to the middle. That's three and seven eighths. Now this one is a five eighths bend because the soffit goes inside there. And then I need to be more than an inch. I want to be about an inch and a half at least going that way so that this back, the back leg is longer than the front so I can nail it. So we have six inches I'll go. And then it needs to come all the way back the other way. It's about nine inches. So you can get by with a nine inch piece to do this. And it'll all start making sense when I start bending it. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Seven eighths, that's our hem. Two and seven eighths. And that's the face of it. And it's coming back over that way, an inch. So that's the middle of that. And then we have our 5 eighths again. And I can actually bend a 5 eighths bend and you'll see why. So four and a half. Now we need an inch and a half. And then nine. I'm gonna circle there because that's where I want to cut it. That's an inch and a half back. And I'll wait for wait for Roger Dodger to be done with what he's doing there. I can show you guys how I go about bending this thing. It's a pretty tricky little bend. It's kind of neat when you. Uh, neat when you get the hang of it though. Get rid, get rid of this stuff. Add some electrical tape to hold the thing together. Alright. This is our H bend. Right there. Right there. <laughs> I got derailed. Train of thought. <laughs> got derailed. Yeah, that's fine though. That's all hidden. Okay, so the first bend we want to do is our 7 8 bend, and this one's the hem. So we have a clean edge. I could just leave a straight edge there and not do this hem, it looks a lot nicer. All the way around. Again, it's been probably 10 years since I've done this, so hopefully, I remember. And right there, I was just pulling that out so that I can get a, a tighter band right there. Okay, now this one gets folded all the way around. What I have to do is I have to transfer this mark here. To the back side it's the third mark you have to transfer over I could remeasure it but I don't feel like it so I can actually just side it over and what I'm gonna do is this one here gets bent up first I believe I'm taking a chance on this yeah because otherwise you don't you can't get the break on it let's see if I screw it up 
this could be interesting. So this one gets a 90. And then now flip it over and this one gets bent all the way around. So I had to do that one first. Otherwise, like I said, I wouldn't be able to get the brake on it. Same thing here, we're bending that tight. See, I like, I like to go seven eighths with this hem, the first hem, so it doesn't hit right there. Oh yeah. And hold that down. Yeah, it looks uniform with the other side then. So now I think the rest of this I can just bend at will. And like I was saying, I can actually get this a little tighter because this bends in. So I can actually get a 5.8. I'm going to twist it in there a little bit. And I'll let this, the pressure of this thing, the pressure, uh, the, the grippiness of the rubber will actually flex this thing and give me a tighter band inside there. It typically, typically you can only get a three quarter band with the brake, but on this, because of the way that it works, you're able to get it a lot tighter. Bend it around and we'll go to our inch and a half mark all the way around. You remember. And there we have it. It's been 10 years and I still got it. <laughs> all right. So now soffit can go in. This is the face. So I, I went a little bit, length at 45. maybe a little bit overzealous right there. It's a little line, but yeah, you just put that in the corner and then soffit goes inside there and inside there and underneath you see that. Nice. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. Yep. So I got to bend one more. Well, I mean, the J, like it's I said, look too. it is a nicer look. You don't have that line in the middle and you don't potentially have it opening up if you do a double J like I like to, but mm -hmm. if you do it clean, you can use the scraps. And you don't have to use a wider section of metal. You save them a couple bucks on metal. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's that.